guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your cape circle top our shoulder measurements bust waist hip and your top length don't forget to join us on facebook t designs on instagram tg designs and also visit our blog we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below and on our blog you can find detailed illustration about certain topics and also you can print out your illustration so if you are interested please click on the website link below and join us over there so we'll go ahead now and calculate our measurements our shoulder measurement is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 our bust is 36 36 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11 inches our waist is 30 30 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 inches our hip is 38 38 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11.5 inches our top is 20 plus 2 inches we have 22 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your cape circle dress please in the course of this tutorial if you have any question feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on trainings are available both online training and physical training and I'm going to go ahead and link them down in the description box below so let's go ahead now to the cutting part of this tutorial and i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial as much as i enjoy creating it so let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial guys welcome you all so today now we want to cut out this um circle shape top so the first thing we are going to do now is to fold our fabric into four so for you to fold your fabric into four I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two. You can see that we folded our fabric into two and then you fold it again into four. So this is basically what you are going to have by the time you fold your fabric into four. So you have it folded into two, you place it this way and then you fold it into four. Once you are done with that, the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your top length, okay? So my top length now is 22 inches. I'll go ahead and mark that. Once I'm done, I'll connect it this way. I'll mark 22 inches. Take it to this point because what you actually have is just like your full flay. So you fold it, you place a tape measure this way. Once you are done, you connect all the lines together. So this is what you have for your top lens. Now, once I'm done with this, the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead now and mark my neckline so want to mark our neckline now because it's flay okay when you want to cut out your neckline for flay please reduce your measurements a little now the reason why i said so is this if normally for your neckline what you want to mark is three inches for the wideness and five inches for the depth right because you folded your fabric in a triangle shape, please make use of 2.5 inches. So reduce like 0.5 inches. The reason is because if you mark the exact wideness for your neckline, because your fabric is folded into four and is folded in a triangular shape, by the time you open this up, it's going to be bigger than the exact measurements. Let me come again now when you want to mark your neckline because this fabric is folded in a flare shape it is also necessary for you to deduct 0.5 inches from your width so if what i mark normally for my neckline is three inches because this is folded in a triangular shape i'm going to mark 2.5 inches if you mark what you use normally for your neckline on this by the time you open this up it will be bigger and since it's bigger it will not sit well on your neck it will sit properly on your neck so i'm going to go ahead now and mark my 2.5 inches so this is what i have now for the wideness 2.5 
now for the depth i'm going to make use of three inches for the depth so i'll go ahead now and connect it we'll have a round shape connect it will have a round shape so once you are done now you go ahead and mark your shoulder measurement so my shoulder measurement is seven inches i'll go ahead and mark my shoulder measurement so this is my shoulder measurement so shoulder to bust shoulder to bust now i have nine inches shoulder to bust i have nine inches so what you are basically going to do now is actually very very easy to achieve this style so this is our boss the reason why i marked our boss line is so that this will enable us to be able to know where we want to stitch up to and don't forget that this part is our arm or where you are going to fit into your arm so if you have any question please drop your questions in the comment section all you have and it is what we are going to have so you discover that this is the length after our length we also marked our neckline so i'll go ahead now and open this up please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on okay so i'll just go ahead now and open this up this is actually very easy it's an easy style so we cut out the neckline by the time you open this up by the time you open this up this is what you are going to have so you can see that what you have is wider because your fabric is folded in a triangular shape and basically it's even better that you have um it's better you cut out when you're marking you cut out like a little neckline like the way i did 2.5 instead of three inches and by the time you open it up you can check to be sure that what you have is fine and you can go ahead and trim it so basically it's better you have a slim neckline okay you can retrim than having a big neckline that doesn't sit on the neck properly and because this is a circular shape um top you can't you are not joining the shoulders together so there's no way you'll be able to adjust it now if it's like a regular top where you are joining your shoulders together if your neckline is wide you can join it but because we are not opening up any of this part so i just prefer it being tight and if i'm not fine with it i can just go ahead and you know trim it off again so this is basically what we are going to have let me place it this way so that you can see like the full shape of our top so you can increase yours it depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day so now this is where we marked our nine inches for this is where we marked our nine inches so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to basically go ahead now and aim the neckline of this dress after aiming the neckline then i'll show you guys what next you have to do so i will go ahead now and aim it and you can aim this with either a bias or a facing so once i'm done aiming this i'll show you guys what we have to do please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe and don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section or any of topic you want us to make a video on. we've gone ahead now to m our neckline and this is what it looks like so we've m our neckline and this is basically what we have so the next thing we are going to do now is just go ahead and rearrange your fabric okay so now we want to so the next thing we are going to do now is to mark our shoulder to our arm or which i explained earlier nine inches so this is where we have our arm hole. so this is the line for our arm hole. you can see now another thing you also have to do now is to get the middle part of your fabric okay so this is the middle part of my fabric here this is the middle point of my fabric so now you want to measure your bust measurements and your waist measurements okay so once measure our bust measurements and our waist measurement this is actually very easy to achieve and our bust measurement is 11 inches so at this point now which is our middle point you will go ahead and mark 11 inches which is the midpoint you mark 11 inches on this part 
you will also go ahead now and place your tape measure at this midpoint and mark your 11 inches on this other part of your fabric so you mark your 11 inches on this other part by the time you are done you are going to have a total of 22 inches which is for the front block so now you also go ahead now and mark your waist so my waist is 9.5 I will come to where I have my waistline. So bust to waist is eight inches. Bust to waist is eight inches. And I have a detailed video where I explained distance calculation, how to know what to mark from your shoulder to bust, bust to waist, waist to hip, and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and link the video. I'm going to put down the link of the video in the description box below. You can go ahead and watch that in order for you to know where to mark your waist, your hip and your shoulder measurement. So once you are done now, at this point now, you go ahead now and mark your waist measurements. My waist measurement is 9.5. 9.5. And at this other part, I will also mark my waist measurement, which is 9.5. So once I'm done, I will connect my waist to bust and also connect this other part also so this is what we are going to have at the end of the day now in order for you to stitch this this is the front part of my fabric like i said earlier i said this is the front part of my fabric and this other part happens to be the back side of the fabric so when you want to stitch this you are going to stitch it on the front side of your fabric you are basically stitching what you have on the front side of your fabric so what you are going to do now is actually very easy this is where we mark so go ahead now and stitch this point up to this point you will discover that i did not connect what i have down if you want to connect what you have down like you want to stitch what you have all the way at this lower part you are going to mark your hip measurement however it even depends on how long you want your top to be so if what you are cutting is actually like a crop top of course your crop top will stop somewhere around your waist area right but if what you have is a long form of top which will sit around your hip area at this lower part you mark your hip okay let me just mark my hip measurement so that you guys can understand better at this lower part now you mark your hip measurement so you just connect it together and the reason why we are marking our hip measurement at this lower part is because so that it can sit properly on your hip okay so that you don't have that lower part being tight so mine is just a little below my waist measurement but if yours is longer at this lower part you mark your hip measurements like i did now so like i said earlier what you are going to do now is you are basically going to stitch the front you are sewing on the front side because what you have now is like your booboo -boo dress so just go ahead now and stitch this part all the way down and also stitch this part all the way down on the front okay so i'll go ahead and do that if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any video you want us to make and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so let's go ahead now and stitch this and show you guys what next you have guys now we've gone ahead now to stitch this we've stitched this part and also the second part so by the time you are done you can see how this part is going to open up like your butterfly you can see how this part is going to open up up to where you where your top ends so and of course we left inches here this is where your arm is going to enter or your hands are going to pass through so this is what it looks like so i'll go ahead now and put this on the mannequin so that you guys can see it clearly so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so hi guys so once you are done stitching it this is what it looks like so you can see the flesh shape of our top and then we went ahead to stitch the side so these sides are going to be fitted by the time you put this on and this is what it looks like so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe and then i'll see you guys in my next one bye